Good afternoon, Jessica Schwartz here. I just wanna share what I use as writing tools because one of the questions that I hear a lot is what should I use as a tool for writing? Because there are so many. If you were to Google uh, writing tools available, there's a ton of free and paid tools and software. There's stuff online, there's stuff on your phone, there's stuff um, that is both an app or a download. There's a, a ton of writing tools. And I just wanted to share a little bit about what I use as a writing, as writing tools. I have two main ones and then a third, which is more of an organization tool. And then a fourth that I wanna throw out there that I do use uh, throughout my writing and especially throughout editing. Um, but basically the two tools that I use the most when I'm writing is Google Drive and Grammarly. And let me tell you a little bit about those. Google Drive, uh, if you're not familiar, is a, a cloud storage solution. It's basically a, sh it's really good collaboration writing. And it's designed to look a lot like Microsoft Word. So it has Excel, it has spreadsheets, it has uh, PowerPoint slides, it has uh, regular Word documents that are all designed to look similar to uh, regular word processing in OpenOffice or Microsoft Office. And it's extremely collaborative. So I can share a document that I'm currently working on with anybody. Uh, they can click the link and they can get in there and they can make edits, they can make comments, they can do changes. And uh, Google Docs is actually how I do my book editing with all of my clients as well. I try to make it as collaborative as possible so that they can check in on progress and make uh, comments on things that they might wanna change or uh, answer questions that I've left comments on. So I just happen to, I think Google Drive is just a really good way. I think you get 15 gigabytes of free storage just because you have a Gmail account. So for me, that is a really good tool. And I really like it. Um, and on top of Google Drive, which I mainly use, I, um, I also do things like uh, Grammarly. So Grammarly is a tool that has a free option, but I choose to pay for it. Um, the free option is available through their browser. Uh, through their URL uh, at Grammarly.com. It's pretty great. It's just that there's like a word limit as to how much you can use it for and there's a little bit fewer features. And so I actually have an annual subscription to Grammarly and it's wonderful. Grammarly is a really good tool for uh, copy editing and you can actually make choices and choose what type of work you are writing so that it gives you different types of grammar and typo and punctuation and syntax syntax options. So I just happen to really like Grammarly. There are a lot of editing softwares out there like Hemingway um, is just one that's off the top of my head, but I really like Grammarly and I've had a good experience with it. Um, the third tool that I use a lot is an organization tool called Trello. Uh, it's basically a visual board that you can share with people or keep private. And um, and by share with people, I mean specific people. It's not just like a public board, but you can use it for organization. I use it both for organization in my uh, personal life, like in my business and how I run my business and my clients and contracts and, you know, a lot of spreadsheets and invoices and things like that I keep in there. Uh, I used it to organize how to write a book in three months with the handouts and the videos and the people and all the information that I needed. And then I also use Trello uh, for writing. So I keep a copy of my manuscript in there, a copy of the formatted manuscripts. I keep a copy of the, uh, the book cover designs that I get from the designer, just so I have everything all in one place. Um, that's really easily accessible and easy to see, and I really like it. So. Um, those are the three things that I use the, for the most part for when I start from A to Z of writing a book. I write it in Google Drive, I have it edited in Google Drive, I use Trello for keeping everything organized, and I use Grammarly for editing, um, which is just an additional assist because self-editing can be very difficult. Um, and then the fourth thing, uh, just like a bonus thing, I use a thesaurus quite often. I think thesauruses are a great resource. Um, a lot of people when they're writing, they don't realize that they use certain words a lot. And when I'm editing or when I'm editing my own work, uh, whether it's mine or someone else's, I'll often notice that there's a lot of words like very or certain descriptors like great or fantastic that people just tend to use a lot of. So what I do is I will often go and pull up a thesaurus and find other words that may be a better fit to give it more uh, of a dynamic feel and to just have more word choice options. I have a pretty large vocabulary and part of that is because I really enjoy looking at synonyms in a thesaurus and finding other words which mean similar things so that I can continue to expand in my vocabulary for both writing and talking. 
So that's it for my tools for what I specifically use. I'd love to hear about what you guys use and what you find most useful for your writing process. And there is a lot more about this in the course, um, not just the tools that I use, but I also go into a lot of detail about other tools that other people have used and why they work and why um, they may be wanting to do it. I provide lists of tools that they can use. And, um, and I'm gonna link in the description below, I am gonna link a free article that you can read about the book writing process. And if you have any questions, definitely reach out to me. Thanks.